somewhere in the Alps. So, Agent Gracefully, you're part of our spy exchange program from Canada? Try not to say my name too often. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash can. You need a hobby. No, not smelly. Smelly! As in the society of meaningless evil larceny lying and yelling. Of course, our evil nemesis. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. No, I've got a better idea. I'd better get this trash bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Oh, and take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. Inside of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. And pray tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, Spy Fox. That would be why I need them. Bad guys? Got water? Spy Fox 2, some assembly required. Hey guys, Greg C96 here. Uh, I'm playing some Spy Fox. And it seems like the game sounds are gonna be a bit loud, so, um, once we get past the cutscene, I can fix that. I've got to get out of here. Although this would be a nice getaway cottage, I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Well, all I have is that one gadget, but first. Um, let's see now. Boom. That's some water. Fire work your magic. The dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. Let's go. Uh oh. It's a jump. Which way should I go? Guess we gotta go that way. That works. I wonder which way I should go. That works as well. That works. That was pretty cool. Uh oh. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? It's a model <laughs> box 1-1000 scale for one evil robot. On the side, it says, Some Assembly Required. Sounds like an excellent title for Do one of my adventures. Do not put in mouth. It has a mailing label that reads, To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. World's Fair, eh? Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow, you can learn a lot by reading. <laughs> if Smelly is involved, they must be up to their usual no goodness. You'd best go check smelly. out World's Fair. Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up the mobile command center. I'm on my way, Chief. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Something big. Yes, I think Smelly big. is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. The bottom of it. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the Smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's Smelly if you got it out of a trash bag, Spy Fox. 
No, Monkey Penny, not smelly. Smelly, as in the Society for My Meaningless green, Evil, Larceny, Lying, and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. nemesis. Why don't you leave those assembly instructions here with me? Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the Mobile Command Center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Spy watch at any time. Don't forget to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go get busy and go give that LaRoche up a Chateau LaRoche a visit and find out just what he's up to. That's why my green screen looks terrible. Not exactly lit quite well. There we go. That's a lot better. But anyways... Oh, I can use my armrests again. Anyways, hey guys, Greg C96 here. Now that I have a brief moment to introduce this, this is Spy Fox 2, Some Assembly Required. So I wanted to start off with Spy Fox 1, which is Spy Fox in Dry Serial game that came out in 1997. I played it on the first PC I ever owned on a little disc that came in a cereal box back when they gave us stuff in cereal. Other than like cheapy little toys. A lot of fun. Never could beat it though because the demo ended before you could. I found out Spy Fox was still a thing and there's five total games. So naturally I bought them on Steam. Yeah. So, here I am in Spy Fox 2 with a video for you guys. So let's see what's going on. Let's go out the door. Makes sense. <laughs> World's Fair entrance. Are you happy with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Although, I'd rather be enjoying the quiet safety of skydiving. As long as it doesn't get me in touch with nature. Without a parachute. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, <laughs> but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let cashiers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of cashier and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. <laughs> Unfortunately... I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. It seems that I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Let's go this way, then, for now, since I can't get the proper ID. Oh, look, a free photo a booth. A free photo booth. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Jockey, ballerina, clown, cashier. Cashier, that'll be useful. Arena, France, <laughs> dentist, none. Arena. It looks great. Okay. So now... Maybe? Hmm. You might want to look slightly away from the camera next time to prevent those red dots from showing up. What? Oh, I'll just go in the main entrance. Hmm. The entrance is closed and it's locked up tighter than an impervious steel door. It's locked. It says, free. France. Dentist. None. I'll just recycle the photo I already have. It looks great. 
I forgot what he told me we needed to be. I think he said cashiers. Well, I don't remember. I think he said cashiers. I'll just try to enter. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that you enjoy your work. Oh yes, I do enjoy my work. I don't suppose you can let me through the service entrance just this once? No, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I have to insist that you show me your cashier ID card. Hmm. You might want to look slightly away from the camera next How time. How do I get my ID card? Let's call you Monkey Benny and by. see what she has to say. How's the mission going, Spy Fox? I'm at a loss. Sometimes we don't know that we already know. Meaning? Meaning, good luck. We're behind you on this. Monkey Penny, out. Mobile Command. Let's see what's back in the mobile command center. See if what's in the gadget machine. I didn't go to the gadget machine first, which is how I should start all the missions. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time, but you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point and shoot easy bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. Oh. This is a rather cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? There we go. It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. It. Fascinating. That's how, how does it work? ID. You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the process ID button. My a completed ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What so if I made an ID, but then I change my mind and want to make thing. a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. That mm, sounds like fun. Creating false photo. ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when we're on a case. Right! This game is so targeted at children. Only secret agents can make fake IDs, kids. There, now I can make an ID card. Cashier. It says Roscoe. Nancy. Muriel. Carlton. Carlton. We're Carlton. Carlton the Professor cashier. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. I'm gonna grab any I gadgets expect I can't that this do will come in here. quite handy. Which means we're gonna have to listen to Professor Quack explain how all the gadgets work. Which could be worse, but I bet these are cool. Spy skates, they look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? Oh. I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating. But being in the spy biz never left time for the years of training. So I created these. You simply slip them on and insert a diagram of the skate maneuver you want to perform, and voila! The skates, with you in them, perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. No, those would not be helpful at all. I like these new blueberry-flavored blueprints. There's that one, that one, that one. Spy heat. This I don't looks even know like some hot work. Need. How does this gadget Typically, work, Professor like Quack? Typically, in the last game, they only allow you four gadgets. Now, this gadget, I'm really proud of. 
you can spray it on something, say like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right before your eyes. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. You can say that again. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. Whatever. I'm gonna go back to the mission at hand and see what's going on. Because if I don't need any gadgets right to start, I'll be okay. And if I need them, I can always get back with this spy watch. Cashier. Hey, it's the Spy Fox noise. Here that you means are, you're doing sir. Right thing. One cashier ID card. Oh my! I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I'll just keep your ID on file for you, Carlton. Keep up the good work. Have a spectacular day. And if I don't see you tomorrow... Who dis? What's the most challenging part of being a chef? Trying to blend in. Someone's in the kitchen with China. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of smelling. So Spycore has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ha! Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. That's exciting. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I've created a 1,000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe. The means to my world domination. The means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! <laughs> Once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off stop. because it has no off switch! Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you so will never find So I have to go find, find an off switch. It. That's what you think, In the world's Roche. fair. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! It is not me. hopeless. I can beat you. <laughs> How about you love that You'll pixelated never get graphics away with this, make it all like nostalgic? Oh, I think I, like I will. It. It's cool. And now, Monsieur the Spy Fox, adieu! Oh no! Where did you put me? Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. That won't do me and La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. I wonder where this gear goes. This gear is too big to go there. This gear is too small. This gear is too big to go there. 
This gear is too big to go there. This gear must go somewhere in here. That did the trick. Well, I oh, guess that was like pretty I simple. Said, the tooth shall set you free. That's not what they say, Spy Fox. Or should I say Carlton? Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. Well, how do I do it? My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand, stand by. by. Monkey Penny. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is Whee! staticky, and Walter World. Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the mobile command center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to spy hearing this dish. Watch. Monkey Penny, no, 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 no. Fun. Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless is still here at the Mobile Command Center waiting for you. Oh, right. He's when intercepted a microfish message from hoping. informant Dottie Dash. That I could right. Like. The message was staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to WeWorld to hear it. Roger and out. Bloop. How do I get back? I'm guessing this way, maybe? Ha, <laughs> the amazing caped cod. What? I guess I can find out where we world is. What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Binox. Whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I figured out it's a breath analyzer. But now I gotta figure out how to get back to the mobile command center. Uh, hmm. Do do do. He that left bad guy put on glass. those glasses, breathed on that breath that device, guy with and the, the glasses. secret door opened. That must be the secret door LaRoche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dog That box. guy with the glasses. I need to figure out how to get in there. I'm gonna grab those glasses. Now I am that guy with the glasses. These rose-tinted glasses might come in handy. But first I gotta go get Walter Wireless. He's our wireless bug. Must be this way. Then this way. Then that way. Hold up there, sir! You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hands so you can I get back I better stamp your hands there. so you can get back in. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. There's your hand stamp. Yeehaw! I gotta go get Walter Wilders. Now that I got my hands there. So, Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag That's of Walter Wireless, our Wi Fi bug. Spy Corps' top tracking bug. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. 
That's right, but all Fever I could make out was something scratched. regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dotty Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Wee World. Sounds Wii like World. your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Ha! <laughs> That's my line. Alrighty. Yep, there's Walter Wireless. So, I think that this is a good point to save. Greg. C96. Save. Alrighty. So, we are saved, we are good to go. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you hate old games and you're a horrible human being. Share it with your friends, because... <sighs> Who doesn't love this old school nostalgic stuff? Uh, be sure to check out everyone in Big Box of Gamers over at BigBoxOfGamers.com. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to the Big Box channel if you haven't. It really helps us to grow. And as always, see you guys next time. Peace.